Blossom from any of the Powerpuff Girls uh, franchise series. Uh, Rumpel Stillskin from Shrek 4. And Test Subject Blue from Nitrome's Flash Game series. Test Subject Complete series, or whatever you call that. Test Subject Blue series. The Flash Games uh, on Nitrome. So, I'll say that one more time. Blossom, Rumpel Stillskin, and Test Subject Blue. Blossom happens to be a, a weirdly profound way I can represent the idea that uh, responsibility isn't just about being action oriented. There's even sub nuances in how you don't do things. But I guess that's not a good example of why I'm just going to explain this for Blossom's sake, like the character. For it. And any Blossom I use for this example, it's any of the Blossoms. It's like it's it's either the original one. Or it's the one from the anime. It's one the one from the new cartoon version. It's any of them. It's like I've I've looked at every single one, and including the OG. And I was like, yeah, I I can use that as a uh, placeholder. So I look at that. and I'm like, okay. So she's clearly like like an example, a stereotype of her own. But she's still like a, like a, a faction of three other girls. So it's like it doesn't have to be like uh, a mix match thing. But it could also be that she just because she's not technically not the main character of, the, of any of those shows, she did. Uh, she did have some some things of her own to, to look, particularly look out for. The fact that she had a like a ice cold power, not the ice cold uh, JT power. <laughs> Holy in your nah. <laughs> Holy in your seed. P. <laughs> no, like if only a woman could do that. But now nah. it's like a. Uh, they still get other ways, but like it's just a uh, blossom. Seemed like the kind of character that I I could either look up to or actually like uh, model in my own characters. I think I was gonna model blossom and other characters into like what I was doing with Patrick Tether for like the um, Pale Hatchet character I was trying to do lately. I've been brainstorming for that more often lately. By the way, it's Patrick Tether, but like um, blossom is an example of responsibility and. Uh, professionalism that is unmatched with the idea that it's a stereotype even though technically she is a stereotypical character she's still very appealing to that in that degree and that's all I gotta say about Blossom for now I'll try to move on to Rebel Stoltzkin but you get the idea I think hopefully here now even if that's not a lot to say about that but Rebel Stoltzkin he spends like the good amount of like Shrek 4 like freaking like the first half of it he's like oh I'm gonna uh, tell you about a story that only I happen to know about because by the time it was it involved me it was, I was already in the back burner. And like, I kind I, I, I read that very deeply. When he's talking about everything that happened between the other three movies, maybe with the exception of the one where uh, uh, Arthur becomes king, maybe. But even then, he gets erased from existence because of the fucking Thanos snap from, from the, 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 uh, the signature. But whatever. Anyways. <laughs> uh, it's like, but. Not that they died, but that something else happened to them. But, like, you know, whatever. Anyways. Rumpel was in the back burner for some of those things. I relate to that already. Like when you see people like when it's like they can fish hooks where that one character is like, oh, I, I knew I knew the the three of you the whole time, but I was with you the whole time. But because this other thing happened in my life, I never got to be in, as involved with it or even be be as remotely relevant. And that's why you guys don't know who I am. It's like I relate to that. I, as depressing as it is, so Rumpel was like that character where you don't have to be involved as much to still know the context and that's something I relate to very deeply when Rumpel especially towards the end of, the, of Shrek 4 when he's like uh when he's going to already lose what he has he technically had nothing to begin with so it makes him a very tragic villain to begin with so he's like he's that villain who gets who goes from rags to riches just by pulling a trick up his sleeve and it's like yeah he cheated but look at what he had when he started it's like he freaking he went out of limb he, he was pure luck on that like, he had virtually nothing to work with, except Shrek's, uh, 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 gullibility. But, yeah, so, now we got Test Subject Blue, and if you don't know what this game was, it was a Flash game on Nitro, where it's like, a Test Subject Blue, Test Subject Green, and Test Subject Complete were all three games based on a Trip Trilogy Flash game series. It was like a puzzle platformer pixelated. As a scientist and his uh, test subjects in microscopic form, in a stage he put in his lab, and he would experiment with them until someone stole them, and then the 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 sub test subject escapes from the microscopic test subject escapes from that other lab that, that stole them, and then he tries to save the world with the professor's help, 
and sacrifices himself in order to do that. And, and that's the story. But uh, what I find interesting about Test Subject Blue is that Blue seems to be what I call an ionic fighter. No, ionic firefighter. And that, that's my description after he's revealed to be the, the elixir of life, or an example of what that would become a prototype of that. He's kind of like the ionic, ionic firefighter. I think in all our own ways, we are ionic firefighters. We are very, we're, we're very um, underrated. We're very, we're people who tend to be like underestimated for what we can do, even in the little ways we do things. Because if Blue can solve, solve puzzles and even save the world, then why can't anyone else make their own life work for them? And that's all I got to say for that right now. This was Blossom, Rumpelstiltskin, and Tessagic Blue. Those are three characters from different kinds of series and franchises. I will see you guys in another video, maybe not tonight, but maybe later, if I do this in a uh, rapid burst fa faction. I just do this a few videos in a day, every once in a few days. But who knows? I'll see you guys in other words. Bye.